Now let's take a look at how airflow can affect the safety of occupants. By being able to visualize this phenomenon, you can better understand what situations might place employees at a greater risk. For example, what happens if my boss comes over to talk with me while I'm sitting? Well, if they get too close, you can see I could obviously be at more risk. We can also take a look at how effective things like dividers can be and how high should they be, things like that. By leveraging our 3D CAD data, these types of what-if scenarios are a breeze. Yes, pun intended. As you can see, being able to see different design ideas side by side makes it easy to evaluate different options and trade-offs to help keep employees safe. Whether the space is large or small, we have a lot of ways to evaluate the effectiveness of the airflow. One common method is to explore the local mean age, or how long does the air remain in the room. The higher the value, typically the more risk that area may be for something like the virus to linger. So in the case of this office space, we can see possible areas of concern. Maybe we could move diffusers, maybe we could rearrange the desk, or maybe we could just add additional air filtration to make sure the risk of contaminants is reduced. Well, we hope you've seen how Autodesk solutions can help get your office ready for the new normal.